Today I want to talk about why it's so important for you to create a customized headline. Um, the headline is what appears at the very top of your profile, right below your name, and it is the place where the reader sees the roles for which you're targeting. Um, it's also a fabulous piece, piece of real estate when it comes to um, having keywords. Keywords are ranked quite heavily in this section. So whatever you can put in there that is a keyword that aligns with your role or your industry, all the better. What I recommend is thinking about the kinds of words that people will type in to search for talent like you. Include a couple of those and then mix it up with some nuggets of information that are sort of unique to you and your career story. So as an example, I want to show you mine. Um, I'm a resume and a LinkedIn writer, first and foremost. Um, and so what people are going to type in to search for someone like me are the words resume, probably executive, because I usually work with a lot of um, more senior folks, and the word LinkedIn. So as you can see, you'll see the word executives in there, resumes in there, and LinkedIn is in there. Um, career is another keyword that I wanted to make sure to put in there. So my headline has one, two, three, four keywords in there. But luckily, LinkedIn gives me more space than that. You actually have 120 characters to work with. You use it all. Um, and as you can see, in addition to the keywords, what I did was I included a couple of pieces of information that are unique to me because there's a lot of us out there and it's important to uh, distinguish myself from sort of the sea of others. So I spoke a little bit about my background. I talked a little bit about um, how my business model works. That's where the no worksheets prep part comes in. Now I want to talk about how easy it is to accidentally create a customized headline and then have it disappear. So when you are adding a job experience or maybe you are, you know, going in and editing your old experience experience to make it sound a little bit better, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll click on my current job. As you can see, there's two buttons here at the bottom. One says update my industry and one says update my headline. When you are creating a new job, update my headline is the default. And LinkedIn does that because it doesn't want you not to have a headline. But if you have a, have you've crafted a powerful LinkedIn headline, you've got to make sure that you uncheck that box. Otherwise, what the reader is going to see is whatever your current job title is, which is boring, probably doesn't have nearly as many keywords, and certainly doesn't tell the reader anything that is unique about you and that differentiates you from everyone else. So make sure to have a customized headline and uncheck that box.